Recovering lost emails, how to retrieve deleted or archived messages. Have you ever accidentally deleted an important email? Don't worry, most emails can be recovered. This session will teach you step-by-step -step methods to retrieve lost messages. So what are we gonna be going over? We're gonna learn where do deleted emails even go? The differences between deleting and archiving, recovering emails from the trash, how can we actually find archived emails, how we can utilize search tools to locate emails that we may think are lost but aren't, how we, we can recover emails on different platforms, different ways we can check for backup and recovery options, as well as how we can prevent future email loss. And at the end, we'll have a Q&A and in breakout rooms, we'll watch some videos. Where do emails go? When you delete an email, it goes to a trash bin folder. So you can see in Gmail, the trash bin folder will look like this. We can see that in our sidebar, we have a logo of a trash bin and it says trash. So anything we deleted, maybe by mistake, maybe on, by on, um, maybe on purpose, we can go to the trash bin folder and we could easily retrieve that email. Whereas I'm pretty sure this is Outlook, yeah? Um, it will say deleted items. And once we open that folder, we can see all of the emails we have deleted um, within the past 30 days. So most email services, they keep deleted emails for 30 days before permanent deletion. So let's say we delete something and we realize that maybe it's important. We are able to go back and retrieve and recover that email. And archived emails are not deleted, but moved out of your primary inbox. So it's confusing between like deleting and archiving, like what's the actual difference? So when you delete an email, you move the email to the trash. And when you um, archive an email, it hides the email from the inbox. So with deleting, it's removing it. With archiving, it's keeping it separately in an archive. You're storing it in case you need it in the future without cluttering your primary inbox. Now, how can we undo something if we delete it? When we want to recover an email, we go to the trash folder on the left sidebar. And um, how can we undo something if we archive it? We can check all mail folder in the Gmail or the archive folder. So if we wanna see deleted emails, we go to, go to the deleted folder. And when we wanna see archived folder, uh, emails, we go to the archive folder. So, how can we recover emails from the trash? So for Gmail, there's a set of steps and for Outlook, there's a set of steps. They're both relatively similar, but because they're different platforms, it might be a little bit different. And once we're in breakout rooms, we can go through the process. You know, If you have a different provider, we can see what it looks like for that in particular provider. Because for everybody, the experience might be a little bit different, right? So for Gmail, first we wanna open Gmail. Then we wanna click on the trash bin. You can see this is the Gmail here. Um, and once we go to the trash bin, we can locate the deleted email that we want to restore and we can click restore. And then that email will be then moved back into your inbox. And our steps for um, recovering Outlook emails is we want to open our email account. We want to go to the, the deleted items. So you can see here, this is the Outlook one. We want to go to the deleted items or the trash. And we want to select the email and choose the option of restore. And then once again, it will be moved back into our inbox for Outlook. So again, similar steps, different platforms. So there might be some minor differences. Finding archived emails. For Gmail, you want to go to all mail in the sidebar. So it's going to look like this. It's going to say all mail. It's going to look like two envelopes. Um, you want to use the search bar to find the missing email. So if you need to, you can move it back to the inbox. And for Outlook, uh, for Outlook, it's gonna you want to look in the archive folder, and then you want to drag the email back to the inbox if you need it. So it's both again different platforms, but similar idea. Using search tools to locate emails. To locate emails, we can use things like keywords. We can filter by the date or we can search all mail. 
Using keywords can be consist can consist of using certain words that was used in the email. Um, you could search the sender's name, the subject, etc. And filtering by date, you can narrow down the search. Like if you know an email was sent between February and April, you can select those specific months and you can see your emails that you got within that period of time. And if you want to really narrow your search, you can use keywords and filter by date, because if you do both of those things, the probability is it'll be easier to find your email. And lastly, you can search all mail. If an email is archived, it won't be in the inbox. So it might be a little bit different to find it. You can't just go to your inbox and search for it. You have to in particularly look for um, your archives. So in Gmail, for example, you can type from John, right? So we're using a keyword and we're using another keyword, subject meeting. So those are two keywords that the software will look for. Um, and ultimately you're looking for emails from John and it's about an, a meeting. So that's an example of how you could utilize search tools to locate specific emails. Recovering emails on different platforms. So um, for Gmail, you want to go to trash and then restore. For Outlook, you want to go to deleted items and then restore. For Yahoo Mail, you want to go to trash and then restore. And for Apple Mail, you want to go to trash or archive. So this is a part where you want to really pay attention to because for each of you, it's going to be a little bit different depending on your email service. Um, and the different email service providers, they have different amount of times that they hold on to your deleted emails. So for Gmail, that's 30 days. For Outlook, they keep it for 30 days as well. For Yahoo Mail, they keep it for seven days. And for Apple Mail, there's no time limit. And I think I need to get Apple Mail because I have a bad habit of deleting very important emails and then I can't find them. <laughs> Checking backup and recovery options. Some email providers offer recovery beyond 30 days. So it's called Outlook Recovery Tool. Um, and if you can't, if you don't have an email provider that has recovery beyond um, 30 days, another option is you can contact support if an email was deleted permanently. Sometimes support can help you. It is a little tricky to get a hold of them, um, but it's not impossible. And you could also check linked devices. Uh, deleted email may still be on your phone. So if I get an email and it's super important and it's on my laptop and I delete it by mistake, I could check my phone to see if it's still there um, on that end. And if not, I can contact support. <clears throat> Preventing future email loss. I think I'm gonna need this. So you can enable undo send. So Gmail allows up to 30 seconds to do this. And you can use labels or folders to organize important emails. So I can make a folder, for example, for me, I can make a folder for my for my schoolwork, or then I can make a uh, folder for my personal stuff and things like that. And it just helps me keep track of what I have, what I need, what's important, what's not important, and things like that. Um, and back up important emails by forwarding them to another account. That's actually a really good idea. So let's say I get a very important email, I can forward it to maybe um, a close friend or a close family member or an alternative email account that I have. And then that separate email account will only have my important emails. So it doesn't get lost in junk mail or spam mail or subscriptions and things like that. So that's actually very smart. I highly recommend that. And lastly, you can avoid clicking um, phishing links, so which can delete or steal emails. And we can discuss that more in the breakout room. Overall, deleted emails go to trash for seven to 30 days, depending on your email provider. Archived emails are still accessible in all mail or archived. So archived emails, they're not gone. You can still find them. Deleted emails, you can find them for a certain amount of time. And if you can't, you can contact support. Um, you can use search tools to locate your lost emails. And you can check for recovery options if emails are permanently deleted. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. on Thursdays. Thank you for listening.